Hello, um, today we have another great pattern. Um, this is a cricket, cricket fly. Um, this is going to be just like your hopper fly that I tied, or my hopper fly. Except, here I'm trying to get the, the camera focused, except it's going to be smaller and it's going to be black. I'll just go ahead and show you. Today we have a size 12 streamer hook. Not like the 10. I tie my crickets size 12 to 14. Black thread. Just like the hopper fly. Except there's a, there's a couple variations. Um, I'll walk, walk right through the steps with you. Tie my red red yarn for the tag <clears throat> you want your tag about as long as the gap of the hook okay now the variation is a it is black and black fly foam just like the hopper but uh... still very very buoyant just it's black instead of yellow form the loop okay time the hackle, the hackle is a grizzly hackle it's a size it's size 12 or 14 grizzly hackle could use black but you know I prefer the grizzly hackle on these crickets um, it just adds a whole different coloration um, I think it helps a little more I'm taking my same crushed mono um, I'll try to do a video on how to make that crushed mono it's not that complicated um, I don't know if anyone wants it though. I just pulled out my crushed mono accidentally, so I just, just fold it back because um, it's still very slippery, even though it's flat. Okay, the underbody on this one, after you tie all your materials, this is just like the hopper fly. Go back and watch the hopper fly, you dub. Using black dubbing. Doesn't matter what type you do, what type of dubbing you use. This is uh, just the same super fine dubbing. So dub that. And just wrap your fly foam. Ah, came on. Came untangled there. Um, I'll happen. Or I'll break one of the two. You know, it's very, it's weak. This fly foam. This fly foam's weak, but. Your mono. Strengthens it. Okay, so I broke off my fly foam. You know, this happens to me a lot when you tie these guys. So, all I'll do is I'll just tie in another piece of fly foam. Just let me cut one. I was not planning on breaking some foam, so just bear with me here. Just tie in a piece of foam. It's not going to look that good, I would say. It's not going to produce that smooth of a body, but still. This fly is going to catch fish, and it's going to catch a lot. Okay, rib. 
first before you wrap your hackle. I generally do less ribs of my cricket because you're not really going to see these ribs, you know. So I just figure, well, why not use less material when I can? So fold back your uh, mono and you tie it off. I did about four ribs and take your grizzly hackle. Just wrap that forward. Uh, you can do a little less wraps um, on this because, well, you'll see when we tie in our deer hair. Um, okay, next I'm going to tie in my uh, crystal flash or flash boo. Doesn't matter which one. Tie in eight strands and fold it over to make sixteen strands. Okay. One thing different about the hopper fly is the legs. We're gonna tie in the legs before we tie down tie in the wind material so the legs are gonna be so under that. It's a little different than the hopper fly, but just bear with me. You don't even, you don't even need legs on this uh, cricket. Same thing, have the knot of your pheasant tail legs right on that little loop of foam. Okay. Yeah, your. Uh Material. I'm using um, pheasant tail or in half pheasant tail. I always say pheasant turkey tail. Every bird the bird the end. You don't need a black winnie material. Fold that over. Two loose wraps. Tighten it down, and you'll see how the legs are. Sort of tucked under here. What you want to do next, this is different, this is with the cricket. So you just want to take one of your scissors, split it right down the top. Okay? And this is going to give sort of the landed on water dead, you know. You, you don't want to look quite as neat as you would a hopper fly. Because th this is a cricket fly. You can see how my other side looks. Okay, I'm just gonna whip finish my six out black thread. I'm going to a heavier thread because now I'm spinning deer hair. Take my heavier thread. This is a UTC 140 denier. Um, here I'll show you that again. Um, black, very good for spinning deer hair. You can apply super glue if you want, but uh, I'm just going to skip that today. Stack your black deer hair. Once again, I dyed this. I dyed this myself. Tie the collar in just as you uh, did in the hopper fly. Flip it upside down. Tie in your other me collar, I could say. So let's trim a little more. Lock your hair, get the butts.